Hey what's up guys, this is Jack and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Motion in your very own Android Studio. Now you might want to ask what is Motion? It is basically a third party emulator that is a lot faster and smoother than the default Android emulator. In some cases, the performance of Motion is almost identical to an actual device. That's how good it is. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is to set up an account with Motion, or else we wouldn't be able to do anything else. To do so, just head over to google.com and type Genymotion. Click on the first link, click on the sign in button, and create an account. Once you've created and activated your account, simply log into your account and click on the download link. If you don't have VirtualBox installed on your PC, just download the installer with VirtualBox because Genymotion needs VirtualBox in order to work properly. Click on it. Now that we have downloaded the installer, simply go ahead and install it. English, next, next, create a desktop shortcut and install. Alright, move on to install Oracle VirtualBox, click on next, next, leave everything as is, yes, and install. Now I do not want to start Oracle VirtualBox, so untick that, finish, but I do want to launch the Jenny motion so that we could test it out. Alright, now you can add a new virtual device via add button, but in my case, I'm just going to use the one that I have created previously. So cancel. I'm going to go for Nexus 6, double click on it. Oops, we got an error. Now this doesn't happen to all the machines out there, but if you have encountered this issue where it says VirtualBox cannot start the virtual device, all you need to do is to replace your VirtualBox with the latest version of VirtualBox. That's it. So what we're going to do now is to close everything and uninstall the current version of our VirtualBox. Uninstall. Alright, once you have done that, just head over to google.com and type virtual box. Go to the first link and download the latest version of virtual box based on your operating system. Once you have downloaded the installer, just go ahead and install it as usual. Next, next. Leave everything as is, yes, install. Unthick, click finish. Alright, you should now be able to run your Jenny Motion smoothly. I'm gonna go for Nexus 6 just to test it out to see if it works or no. Alright, it works. Once you have your Jenny Motion and VirtualBox set up properly, the next thing you're gonna do is to install the Jenny Motion plugin in our Android Studio. To do so, just head over to File, Settings, under Plugins, click on Browse Repositories button, and type Jenny Motion, and click Install. Once you're done, you'll need to restart your Android Studio. Restart. After you have restarted your Android Studio, you should now be able to see the Jenny Motion Device Manager icon, which is located at the toolbar. If you can't find it however, it's fine. Just hit on Ctrl Shift A and type Jenny Motion. There you go. Click on it. At this point, you can either create a new Jenny Motion virtual device by clicking on the new button where you'll be brought to the Jenny Motion application. Or you can just start the one that you have created previously. Once your emulator is up and running, you can now debug your app with Jenny Motion by clicking on the Run App button. Select Jenny Motion Virtual Device as your deployment target and click OK. There 
There you go. Perfect. That's it guys. If you like the video, please hit on the like button, share it to your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Peace.